Hello hungry fam and welcome to our channel. After a lot of requests, I'm going to cook mini food for 24 hours. Before starting the video, like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Read Hunger Plan. Also click on the bell icon to get all the post notifications. I was actually planning this video since so long but I was always scared as it is a very patience and delicate wala kaam. But anyways, let's start with our breakfast. I'm so excited. I'm going to make Maggie of course because it's a lot of rain outside. What better combination than barish and Maggie? Gas is not possible hai. so here I have this stove which we call it Tsool. You will get more to see it in the villages. First I put it with lakdiyo's help se jalaya, and then I placed a mini pot over it. Then I added oil. After it was hot I added chopped garlic, chilli and onion. Sort it till the onion is translucent. Then add tomatoes and capsicum. Saute again. Then add salt. Red chilli powder. Turmeric powder. And Maggie masala. So I didn't mention any recipe because it is so tiny portions. Hai. Even I can't measure them. But this looks so so cute. After mixing, add water, cover and let it boil. Then here I made mini packet of Maggi. This is so much Maggi fit. Ho paaya. So I added 2-3 to three packets of this mini Maggi. Mix and let it cook achche se. By the way, this cooking took 10 minutes. But it looks amazing. And the aroma, oh my god, it is so so good. Aroma se hi mujhe bhook lagne lag gayi hai. Of course, I won't just eat this mini food for 24 hours. Logically, that's not possible because it's hardly one bite. Hai. Aur one bite mein pura din survive karna is not possible. But I tasted it and wow, I am not kidding you. It was the best Maggi ever. It's so flavorful. Tha. The Maggi is also cooked perfectly. I'm definitely going to rate it a 10 on 10. For lunch, thoda Indian banate hai. I'm going to make puri and aloo ki sabzi. So first, I'm kneading the dough for the puri. I added atta, salt and water. Mix and knead it into a soft dough. Then I added oil and kneaded it for 2 minutes. Cover and let it rest till we make the sabzi. Here I'm using a candle gas ke niche rakke. Thoda alag try karte hai is bar. I placed a mini cooker and added two chhoto si potatoes. Add a bit of water, cover and let them cook. Vaise these are my bachpan ke khilone jo mere parents ne ab tak sambhal ke rakke. Ab main kitchen kitchen khelti thi and who knew I'm actually going to cook in these toys. Comment below if you like our mini kitchen setup. Also comment below kis kis ne apne bachpan ke toys sambhal ke rakhe and send me a picture of them on Instagram at the rate hunger plans. After cooking, I removed the potatoes out of the cooker and peeled its skin, which was a tedious job. But anyways, I crushed the potatoes into small pieces. Then let's keep it aside. Now let's make the sabzi. In the pot, I added oil. Then for tadka, I'm adding hing, that is asofatira, rai, that is mustard seeds, jeera, that is cumin seeds, and curry patta, that is curry leaves. Mix. Then add green chilies and onion. Saute till the onion is soft. Then add the tomatoes, turmeric powder and coriander powder. Mix it well. Then add salt and potatoes. Of course, these utensils are not meant for actual cooking. Toys are not very black ho rahe niche se. and because of that, it was very dark and dark and dark and dark and dark and So please do not try this at home. It is only for fun and entertainment. Coming back to our sabji, I mixed it and covered it for 2 minutes and it's literally done. Now let's move on to making our puris. Take out a small portion of the rested dough, roll and smoothen it out. 
place it on a chakla and instead of rolling pin i'm just going to press it to get even round shape now place a vessel with oil and let it heat then add the puris into it and wow it's actually puffing up i am surprised by that now let's serve it hot just look at this mini thali looks so cute a puri bhaji not only looks amazing but tastes so good the sabji is surprisingly very flavorful suliwar's taste is another level sadly the puri is not that crispy but it's fine they are puffed up which is a big thing for me so i'm going to rate this lunch an 8 on 10 now for dinner let's make veg pulao in a pot add oil jeera rai green chili cinnamon stick after a minute of splattering add onions saute till they are translucent then add ginger garlic paste mix then add tomatoes carrots green peas and french beans mix it then add salt red chili powder coriander powder and cumin powder then add a bit of water then i'm going to add soaked basmati rice mix it well add more water into it cover and let it cook so abhi almost 15 minute ho gaye but still the rice wasn't cooked the pot was very chotu sa for the rice to cook and i guess maine bahut zyada rice dal diya but anyway after 25 minutes the rice is cooked and it broke into pieces pura akha basmati nahi raha but it's fine i garnished it with coriander leaves it looks good but not the best the taste was also decent surprisingly the peas were cooked as well It was slightly flavorful so I'm going to rate our veg pulao a 6 on 10. As you all know dessert is my favorite. Since aaj hum sab Indian bana rahe hain I'm going to challenge myself even more and make ras malai in a pot at full fat milk. Once it's hot add few drops of lemon juice and mix till the milk curdles. Take it off the flame. Then I don't have a mini strainer, so I'm using this wooden basket. Place a muslin cloth over it. Add the curdled milk. Wash it off with a bit of water. Thoda sa pani bahar gir gaya, which is fine. Press and remove all the water from our chena. Then tie and hang it for thirty minutes. Till then, let's make the rasa now. In another pot, add milk and sugar. Let the sugar melt. Then after the boil add few strands of kesar mix and cover it for a minute or two Then add cardamom powder that's elaichi powder and few chopped mixed nuts Then keep it aside to cool down Now in the kadai add water and sugar Let the sugar melt completely and let the chutney become slightly thick Till then let's remove the hanged chena Then knead it for good five minutes until it's super soft. Take out a small portion. Roll it flat. Then add it into the syrup. Add the remaining chana as well. Let these malai soak in the syrup for at least five to ten minutes. Flip it. Now take out these mini malai. Press it a bit to remove the excess syrup. Of course, एकदम हो नहीं पा रहा था बराबर से, but कोई नहीं. Add it directly into the rice we made. Repeat the same for the remaining. Chill it for 10 to 15 minutes and serve it cold. Wow, yeah, it looks super cute and pretty. And the taste, oh my god, it was actually like a rice malai. The rice was perfectly sweet and had a hint of kesar. The malai was not the softest, but it was not bad. मतलब उसने flavor पूरा absorb कर लिया था. I am very proud of myself. pulling this off so i'm going to rate it a 9 on 10 
I had so much fun cooking mini food. You comment below and let me know your feedback about it. Today's shout out goes to Sana, Ayushi Verma, and Vanshika Kashyap. If you want to shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at the Rate Hunger Plants, and comment on this video telling me that you have. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more amazing videos.